the hell? Hey guys, and welcome back to Crystal Vlogs. Today, y'all are gonna see me cutting my hair. I already been cutting y'all. Right here, guys, I really look like Chris Tucker from the movie Elements. I'm gonna insert a picture, y'all. I just been looking at myself right here like, who the hell do I look like, y'all? Check this out and tell me, do I look like him? My hair look like him. My nerves bad. My skin is really, really itchy due to health, chronic pain, health issues, and all that. The hair gotta go. I was wearing it curly. It's dry now because I done washed it in combed it out but i was wearing it long in the front and curly all around okay so this dye comes from the dollar tree and this is newport the black hair color optimized permanent hair coloring system you guys and i got it from one dollar and it says easy to apply and no mess no measuring okay um, it says before coloring, take all elegant tips according to instructions inside the box. Do not shampoo or wet hair before coloring. How to color your hair, put the gloves on, yada yada, add the cream, color the base into the applicator bottle that already contains color developer. Number two, carefully cut off the tip of the applicator bottle. Apply immediately. Do not store, okay? Number three, squeeze mixture on hair. You know, all that good jazzy jazz stuff like that. Okay, so it's massage the color even from your roots to the ends. Do not rub until scalp is covered in gray. Start wherever hair is the grayest. Leave color on for 25 minutes as the vibrant color penetrates deeply in hair. It says stubborn gray hair may need an extra 10 minutes to discard any leftover mixtures. Number four, add a little warm water and work into a lather. Rinse thoroughly until water runs clear. There's no need to shampoo. No needs to shampoo. However, I will put conditioner in. So it says just rinse it out. No need to shampoo. Now that kind of puzzles me when it says no need to shampoo. So I'm thinking if I shampoo it, the dye is going to come out. Mm -hmm. We will see, you guys. We will see. But before we get into that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to smack that notification bell right up here. So you'll be notified every time I upload another video or do a live stream, you guys. Okay, so let's get into the video. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I am going to start just cutting my hair. I'll show you guys my whole entire head. Yeah, it look a hot mess. Okay. That's why I'm cutting it all, cutting it all off. Okay. So we're going to do that. So I've cut the remainder of it off. And when I say my hair feels so much better, with all this skin and itching and up, it's just, it's doing the most. By the time y'all see this video, I probably already have taken care of, um, probably already heard about whatever health issues that I wanted to share with you guys. I feel like a little ball spot or something right there. I'll go ahead and open this bag, baby. I do got my shower cap and two gloves. cut the tip off and since my hair is all cut off and it's short I'm just gonna squeeze it on everywhere and then when I get it all in and massaged in I'll be back
be all through my hair. has been so bad like I want to cut all this hair off that's how bad my skin has been so irritated and as you can see my hair is turning black already and I haven't even let it set in all the way you can see the that my hair changed colors already but I kind of see some green right there and now that I'm combing it down I'll probably clip it some more while I get the dyes in it since it's uh smooth enough me to see that length. Most people, when they cut their hair, they cut it wet. It be wet. I have to end up going to get the back of my hair shaved. I probably need to stop doing that. That's probably why my hair grows so fast in the back and not everywhere else. So I just, whoa. We want to get this off our face ASAP. Okay. Okay, let you see the back of it. And this part that's sticking out, I'm about to cut this part. Because I want it short. All I want to do when I wake up in the morning is wet, wet it. Put in my curl, uh, curl cream for my hair or gel. Let it curl up. And you guys can, you guys already know I have real curly hair, so... Get my scissors and just just go across it. Oh, it feels so good to get this off the back of my neck. Yeah, because clearly you see it already bleached my hair. Okay, so I have my timer. Hit it for 15 minutes. So while this is going on, I guess what y'all want to talk about? I guess we can talk about, since I'm in remission and I'm going through a lot of stuff, I don't talk about it very much with you guys. Um, Because I try not to get too depressed. You guys know I suffer with depression and anxiety. So basically when I go to the doctor and they tell me something wrong, I'm automatically stressing you guys. To even hear about what happened to me and what I had to get done. Whatever I told you guys, you know, uh, previous before you seen this video. All of that stuff. Not even sure if I'm going to tell you guys that. But if I do, you guys would already have heard it. Okay? But to deal with things um, that your doctor tells you when you go... And it's not good. Like, every time you go, it's not good. As far as the checkups, like, gynecology checkup, all that is good. But when you go and you hear about, uh, oh, your liver, or your kidney, or your gallbladder, gallstones, or your heart, your blood pressure, or diabetes, high cholesterol, nobody wants to hear that type of stuff. I know I don't. So, I have to do things to keep myself uplifted and grounded. And the most thing that I worry about is Grinch and my kids. Because I worry about them because they depend on mama. They depend on mama to do everything. Mama take care of the house. Mama make sure the bills get paid, even though she don't pay the bills. But she takes the money and makes sure it goes here, there, do, 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 all that stuff, you know. Big, big daddy do all that, make the money, do all that, okay? Worry about my children if I was to leave. Like, I'm not there yet. I'm not okay with leaving them right now. So, I just don't mentally, I don't see them, you know, making it without me. Eventually, you know, I will pass and they will have to deal with those type of things. And I know they'll be strong. We have talked about this. But for the people that are experiencing dialysis, cancer, breast cancer, any type of cancer or diabetes or, you know, any type of chronic pain or any type of disease 
um, it's really hard going through stuff like that when you got a family and children. You know, it's certain things that you have to talk about with them. You know, what ifs, plans. Um, you know, you have to plan all this stuff ahead. Get, you know, get make sure you got life insurance. Even though Grinch didn't want to talk about it, but I was like, hey, you know, um, we need to get some life insurance on me. I've had life life insurance. But the life insurance had lapsed due to when we moved, other things I had to pay, this pandemic and all of that. But I am covered now with life insurance. So um, he didn't want to talk about that. Um, my kids are very open. You know, they really don't understand. So they really don't take it to heart when I talk like that. However, my siblings and stuff with my mom, you know, and Grinch, they do. But the kids would be like, they talk about who they gonna live with and you know god got them covered okay so they're not sad and or anything so i try to keep myself uplifted and not look too depressed or too sad you know they know to give me my space when i'm not feeling well it's like hey you know get out my room why you keep coming in my room i tell them get out get out get out because they all want to come in and get up under me and i i be like hey i need my space when i come in my room lay down Quiet time, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Okay, so when I get up and go around them and start bit talking, they know I feel good, okay? Um, I don't like to down my kids' spirits, so it's so much that I will tell them in a certain way for them to understand, hey, this is what's going on, this is what's going to happen. I don't try to sugarcoat it too much, but I don't want it to sound so in depth like, you know um so and then around the holidays it just makes it unbearable sometimes around the holidays like my kids are feeling the holiday spirit but i'm not feeling the holiday spirit so um as long as they're happy i'm happy but i'm not like oh let's put up a tree they didn't even want a tree i asked them did they want a tree they didn't want a tree i was like mom we're not little kids anymore you don't have to do all that you know just give us the money or just give us a, our gifts what we want so you guys this is tingling a little bit i've been rambling and rambling and rambling girl look girl that girl is so sexy. Mm, mm, mm. That girl is, baby, that black looks so good on it. Mm, 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 mm. Now I'm going to have to go to my barber shop and let her cut it even all low. Because I always do that. I whack it off myself. Because if you go to them and let them whack you and even all low, I ain't got time. I ain't got time for the price. Some of them be, have a set price. Some of them don't. They go by how much hair you got on your head. And, I'd rather cut it myself and then let them go even it up all over. But I just want to talk to you. I just want to ramble. Sometimes we need to ramble and, you know, just let it all out. But don't let too much out, honey. Because some folks take your information and just run with it and flip it around and turn it around. Oh, you know it, they'll be talking about you had a heart attack. And you ain't had not now. I said it was tingling. Not bad, but I can feel like some freshness um, going on. So I'm just going to comb it. And you guys can just see. Oops. See my hair. When you dye your hair, you always want to make sure that you... I'm going to clean my face real good. I've been dying my hair for the long time. I ain't worried about all that. But you always want to make sure you're getting them edges, baby. Sometimes you dang going to dye your hair and the dye don't get them edges. I'll be mad. Then you got to do a little reapply again. I don't got about time for that. No, I don't. All right. All right, guys. So I think it's time to go rinse this stuff out. What y'all think? Three more minutes.
Okay, guys, so I haven't seen my hair. I just washed it. Oh, I washed it in the sink. I got dizzy. tree is doing it oh my god they is doing it don't sleep on dollar tree now i'm gonna go to the barbershop and get this faded down in the back like i always do i don't know i keep saying it i said i wasn't but i am y'all know y'all know i'm always saying something <sighs> bro Am I recording? Gotta make sure, cause ain't nobody got time for that. Bruh. So since I just dyed it and I don't want my hair to be dry, 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 I'm not gonna put no gel on it. I'm gonna put my Bell's Curl, which I'm out. Chat. The struggle. The struggle. Gotta go get me some. I love this stuff. Apply this much. Oh, some hair in there. I don't want that. I don't want that. Put that much rub in my hand. I'm this type of girl that just throw in some, some cream. And you know, if you put gel in, of course, it'll curl up even more. I feel like I need to cut. It's more long. It's longer right here. I can see. I'm going to fill it up. Go back. All right, y'all, so thanks for watching this video. If you like this tutorial and if you like this dye, you guys drop it down in the comments and let me know. I got this from my local Dollar Tree. Go and check it out. I rate this a 100. I am loving my cut. So thanks, guys, for watching this video, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye. Happy holidays.